one step ahead of the In a sense, it's not exactly one step ahead of the people that we want to be. We want to be at least two steps ahead. We want to be able to go one step further than the person that's actually trying to be the one that's outplaying you. Now, hopefully, if you're on board with what I'm actually talking about there, but to simplify it a little more, it means you want to be inside the player's head. You want to be able to So before we uh, get started with what I'm trying to explain, let me just um, clear off something real quick that I've actually been noticing about any type of related thing I might be talking about that has to do with some type of drama. A lot of the things I talk about sometimes can be nonsense, especially with this topic. Well, this is what I believe. Even though this topic is, in my opinion, more serious than the Oh my gosh, Jared is leaving the Splatoon community. Oh my gosh, Jared is talking about something, something, something. Um, I th even though I don't know how to make this sound more sincere, but this to me is a kind of a serious one. At least more serious than, um, you know, me possibly leaving the Splatoon community at least. So... But like I said, a lot of things I end up saying can be nonsense, and here's why. When you have that one bad day, and you want to talk about it, right? Then you start realizing, hey, maybe I might have just been overreacting on that bad day. For my case, yes. I kind of did. Kind of. In a way. But the reason why I'm bringing this topic now is because I feel like this is something that has been going with me that... I, for some reason, never took my time to explain with anyone in particular the real reason why I play these types of video games. The real reason why I'm pretty good at video games. Or, to some people, say, uh, try hard. <laughs> but I do have a more complicated reason for why I tend to improve so quickly. At, at least, to me, it's quick. To me. Okay, where do I begin? Six years old, all the way to this age. I've had the mentality of... I must win. I know that doesn't make any sense, but I'll try to explain right now. I must win. I play Splatoon 2. I play with my friends. I must win. I play Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Play against my friends. Play against anyone. I must win. I've always had the mentality that... My goal in general was to just be the dictator, be the winner, be the, the one guy that's up here against all the other guys that are down here. Or maybe if there were guys that are up here, then I would have to be, you know, all the way up there. That's kind of my mentality. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because I'm starting to realize how, how far I've kind of pushed myself. I've kind of pushed myself in a way where my interaction with my audience on the outside sounds normal, but on the inside, it's not all that calm, at least. Every single time I meet with someone, just it, it just happens to be anyone, I always think, okay, so what if one day, just out of nowhere, one day they're like, hey, you have the same interest as I do in this game that I actually really love, and you also really love, Splatoon 2, Smash Bros., Fighters... Let's play. I want to see how good you are, you know? If one day you realize that they have that pride where they're going to win, that's when you're just like, oh, okay, see you later. I'll, I'll play with you when we get that day. I uh, want to make sure there's no way I would ever lose because I don't know why, but something about me, I've always had the weird feeling that if I lose, then I lose I just lose something big. Like, I don't know why, but when people lose, right, they just brush it off. Like, oh, that's fine. That's fine. I lost a game. There, there's, you know, another game that I could go with. I don't know why, but I feel like when I lose to just anything in general, out of nowhere, I just died. Like, I just, everything about me just died. The moment I lose this one game to someone that you know you should have won. But when I lose... 
out of nowhere, I feel like everything just died. And this isn't including games that, you know, I'm genuinely not wanting to play, like Fortnite or um, Clash of Clans, maybe, who knows. Maybe Super Mario Odyssey, since it has that balloon mode thing. Games that matter to me the most are, well, genuinely Splatoon 2 and Dra Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, a little bit of Dragon Ball Fighters, some other fighting games that exist out there, like Marvel vs. Capcom. I just need a win. I just want to win. And I don't know why. But that's always been my mentality since I was six years old. Even when I was bad at soccer in general, I lost. I would throw a fit all the time. That's that's kind of how I was when I was young. Like, every time I lost, that's when I get triggered. And it... But genuinely, I just, I, just, I just don't like losing. I just really don't. And that's why, th that's why I said I do have a hard time interacting with my audience. Because, like... I don't know why. When they say something on the lines of, oh, maybe one day I'll beat you, I, I honestly feel like it, or, oh, I will beat you, and I can feel it even though I obviously can't, or, oh, you seem interesting, I think I could beat you, or, oh, I'm actually capable of beating you, and both of us know that. I don't know why, but I take that really seriously for some reason. Like, okay, if someone says, okay, fine, I think I could beat you, I just don't know. Then I would just say, yeah, no, I don't think you can, but I mean, we'll go for it. And then when you have one of those other people that say, oh, I can beat you, I know I will. Then you have me that's like, well, I fought you many times before. You're clearly not capable of beating me. Then you have all of those people that's just like, oh, I'll play against you even though I can't beat you. That's when I'm just like, fine, whatever, but I'll still beat you. Then when you have those other people that actually are capable of beating me, that's when I push myself too far. I push myself, I constantly keep on going with this continuous days through weeks, through months, in fact, of making sure I could think of whatever I can think of, of beating this one guy that beat me in Splatoon 2, Fighters, or Smash Bros. Ultimate, anything. I still remember the worst losses I've ever had that I know I could have actually won that. I still remember the many, many times I've lost to something I felt like I could have won. I don't know why, just something about the general losses never leave me, and it... They just can't. None of them can. I still remember the many times I've lost to something so stupid, or I lost to something that I was above. But I lost, and now I can't take it back, or can't bring it back to be like, hey, let's have a rematch. This time, new weapons have been added in Splatoon, Splatoon 2, new patches have came out in Smash Bros. Ultimate. Not only have I improved in skill, but these things happen, so I will beat you. But there are times when that can't happen anymore because, um, oh, I've, you know, I've grown tired of this game or, oh, um, I've gotten a lot more busy with my life. I'm an actual normal person. I can't take them back anymore. And that honestly, it hurts me. It really hurts me to realize I've taken a loss, but I can't change it to a win anymore because I'm too late. And it hurts me. It honestly does. And that's why I push myself way too far to play these games. So that way, that same loss will never, ever happen again. And I mean, never. Which is why, maybe sometimes that's why I'm also a little bit not as frequent as I am with my animations. I don't want to just be some guy that's decent with animations. I also want to be the guy who's, you know, who can actually flex on them. Like, look at this. Who can also um, play video games. Who can also beat everyone in a certain video game who will consistently win. That's why I do this. Not just to improve for the fun of it, but to make sure the same loss will never ever happen again. That's been my mentality at least. And again, this hurts my interaction with my audience because like the next time, that one guy shows up, actually beats me, but in a way where I felt like I should have won. I get a little aggressive, admittedly. I do get a little aggressive at the start, but I try to chill off from it, but in the end, I want it to happen again, so that instead of it being loss, I can actually win 
because I know what happened. But they can't happen again. Because it was a... It could have been from someone random that I never knew. So... That's been my mentality, at least. And yeah. So, I, um... I hope this doesn't hurt the most of you guys. But I am saying, if you think you have something capable against me, don't be surprised if, for some strange reason, I happen to be aggressive on you. Because... When someone says they're capable of something that they think they can do something against me, I will act. For some reason. I take it really seriously, unfortunately. The day that you say, I could beat you, maybe one day I could beat you, I will do whatever I can to make sure what you said will not happen. I do what I can to make sure I am the dictator, I am the winner of every single game I could play, and I love. At least against the people that know me better than I know them. So yeah, that's uh, again, that's been my mentality since I was six years old. Played in soccer, got really salty when I lost to a team of, I don't know, uh, played Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Made sure I always won against my family members. Um, played other fighting games or just other games in general. I made sure I was the one guy that was, you know, vastly better than everyone. Vastly better than my siblings, my cousins, my friends, my, my Discord friends. And some other YouTubers you might look up to these days. Animators. Splatoon animators in particular. That's why I play so much. That's why I win so much. I don't win because I'm just that good, or maybe I am, but I win so that whatever happens that is related to a loss on my part can't happen. So that's why I play these games a lot. That's why I push myself a lot. And the reason, and because of that, I've pushed myself to an extent where it's kind of interfered with my own life. It's kind of interfered with the things I need to pay attention to. Heck, I'm 16 years old. I still don't even have a license yet. And I should. So, I'm gonna just cut it off right here. I don't think I have anything more to talk about. Um, the videos I'm uploading, I'll go with that in another video maybe. Or maybe I'll talk about it on my Discord. I don't know. But... Hope you guys can understand where I'm coming from, because this is something that I feel like is a little bit abnormal, however you pronounce that word. So, um, hope you guys can uh, understand me at my fullest. Again, I'm not sure how to be super sincere about this, but this is something that I felt like no one has ever known that needs to be known, and that I wanted you guys to know. So... If you understand me, thank you so much, and, um, I don't know, I'll, I'll see you guys whatever we do next. Uh, videos? Hopefully, um, by the end of this week, at least. Maybe. But, I'll do what I can, but until next time, I'll see you guys later. Take care, God bless you guys, and don't completely be like me. Don't be the guy that thinks playing video games so that I can beat everyone is life. It's not. Life is everything outside that door. Life is with other friends who enjoy talking to you. Life is getting a job, getting money, and in enjoying just how it is outside. I know that's what's true. I just can't change it. Right now, at least. <sighs> so, I'll see you guys later.